Hey, now that we've got our new Shiny user repository available, let's go and make use of it in our user controller. So we'll open up the users controller and instead of injecting the data context now, what we're going to use is our iUser repository. And we'll call it user repository and we'll need to bring in our interface from API interfaces and we'll need to initialize the field from parameter as well. And that means we can remove the data context inside here. So instead of using the context now, what we're going to use is our user repository. So we'll say user repository and we'll say get users async. As simple as that, or is it? So we're getting a type error here and what's going on is it's telling us that it cannot implicitly convert type system collections generic I enumerable of app user to an action result of system collections generic I enumerable. And even if we get the users first, I'm going to say var users in this case equals, and then I'm going to take our call to the repository and paste this in there and we return our users. This obviously isn't going to work either, but what will work if, is if we wrap this in an OK result. And this works fine. And we could keep this as one line as well. And we can copy this and paste it over this. And we can keep this on one line. We just have to wrap the result in an OK response. We should be OK with getting a single user though. So we'll swap this for the await context or await user repository and we'll say get user and what we're going to do is we're going to swap the ID for the username in this case and instead of saying ID here what we'll do is we'll change this to username and we'll say string of username instead of the int of ID and that's the method we'll be using to get individual users we're going to do it by the username and not use the ID for very much but then we can pass in our username to our get user by username async method and this one we don't need to wrap inside an OK response. So let's take a look at what we get inside Postman for these requests and if I click on get users then exactly the same as before we get our users array and if we choose to get a user by username and we say get users Lisa and click on send then we get the user with the name of Lisa and let's see if we can get a different user and we'll say Mayo and try this user and paste this in and click send great we get our user but what we don't get is our photos this is set to null hmm now why is this well if we go back to our repository and take a look at what we're doing inside here then if we want to get a related collection then we do have different options one of the options is eager loading and eager loading and we'll do this for both the users and the individual user we'll just drop this down what we need to do is include and then we can say p goes to p.photos and this will now be included with our response and we can do the same for the individual user as well and we can say include and we add the expression to go and get the photos and load these with our request now this is going to give us a problem and it's going to give us a circular reference problem because if we take a look at our entities and we go to our app user our app user has a collection of photos so that's what we're going to return now that we add this eager loading if we go to our photos collection or our photos entity then we have an app user inside here and what's going to be returned is for each photo it's going to attempt to return an app user and our app user has a collection of photos and our photo has an app user etc etc this is going to give us a circular reference exception it's not going to do any harm we're not going to break the internet by running this request but let's give this a go and see what happens and if I click send then we're going to get a 500 internal server error and it tells us that a, pos a possible object cycle was detected now we need to return our photos that's a fact so what we're going to take a look at next is how we solve this problem 
And what we do to solve this problem is we simply shape our data before we return it. And we're going to look at adding another DTO to do this.